come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with your neighbors and crop experts about best practices in weed control in soybeans. All you need is a minute and authority minute. For cleaner fields this spring, add a residual to your fall burndown program. In this episode, I'm headed to Summitville, Indiana to talk with Danny Hudson, United Co-op Manager, about how using a residual herbicide in the fall makes for cleaner fields when planting. Later in the season, I went to Nebraska to see the lasting impact of a fall residual. Hey, Danny. Hi, Jake. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us out here. No problem. So, uh, it's spring. Growers everywhere gearing right. up for planting season. Uh, but I understand that you have a really telling field comparison yep. on the benefits of a fall burn down with residual. Yep. It really stands out. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we go check that out, would you tell me why you recommend a fall burn down with residual? Well, it's part of our weed management program to start cleaning in the spring. So in the fall, we can take care of the winter annuals, the dandelions and chickweed and, and uh, weeds like that. We like the authority piece for residual. Uh, helps us on our water hemp and mare's tail. And as another mode of action that will help us on our weed resistance program. It takes a lot of stress off the spring. Well, that all makes sense to me. Uh, would you mind giving us a look at that field? No, that's fine. Let's go. So, clean field like this, what do we need to do in order to get ready for planting? The fall applied's ready to go. We're ready to. Ready to plant. Started clean, staying clean? Yep. So we're coming up on an area that's a little bit different scenery. What happened here? Well, they had uh, round bales of corn stalks stacked here, and when we came <laughs> over to spray, we just had to spray around them. Well, sorry that mix-up happened, but yeah. it gives us a great example of what an area looks like without a fall burn down, right next to one that had one. Right. So what sort of conditions would you need to avoid this sort of infestation in a field for a fall burn down? Well, in the fall after harvest, usually in October, soil temperature drops around 55, uh, then we start applying and ground conditions are drier then. And then we've got a field like this. Let's say it's not just a miss in this situation, but a whole field like this. What do you have to do to get it ready to plant in the spring? Well, we'll have to get it, get it burnt down <laughs> and wait on the herbicides to do their job. That's gonna take some time and extra work, right? Yep, and extra money. So, if you've got winter annual infestation, how does that affect, say, pressure from pests? Well, this the coverage here will provide a home for the pests to fly in over winter and potentially harm the crop and the dry feet. The fall applied fields will uh, not allow them to come in. They're clean, so there's no home for the pests. Right. And what other uh, problems can this sort of infestation cause from these weeds for the soil sake? Well, it can take nutrients from the soil away from the crop and um, it's wetter and cooler and can delay planting. So for yield potential, we want to keep them clean and warm up. What would you say were some other benefits to a fall burn down with residual that you'd like to let us know about? It lets the farmers do other things in the spring and it allows us to do more custom application. You know, when you're planting, you don't have this mat of stuff to worry about, hair pinning, seed to soil contact, and those kind of things. More time, less work in the spring? Yeah. That sounds all right. Yeah. So there's all these benefits to a fall burn down. Yeah. Thanks for pointing them all out to us, Danny. We really appreciate oh, no it. No problem. Thank you. Danny provided some great insight into why a residual in the fall is important. A little later in the season, I headed to Nebraska to find more examples of how much difference a fall residual can make. Parts of these Nebraska fields were treated with Authority MTZ in the fall. It's easy to tell which rows. Not only is there less weed pressure, but with Authority MTZ, you have the flexibility to plant either corn or soybeans in the spring, and that's a real benefit. We learned from Danny that using a fall burn down with residual gives you lots of benefits, like fewer weeds and more time in the spring. And in Nebraska, we found that using Authority MTZ gives you the flexibility to plant either soybeans or corn. This is Jake Turner reminding you to be safe out there. See you down the road when you have a minute and Authority Minute.